Hey, good morning, everybody. Just coming in to trade that small account with you again. We started with $100 last week, and now we're up to $130 in four days of trading. So that's 30% profit. I think that's awesome. But the goal is just to show everybody that you can trade in the market with small amounts of money. You don't need $25,000. You don't need $50,000. I'm showing you we could do it with 100 bucks, And let's just see how far we can get this to grow. All right, so right now, that's the amount of money I'm using, 130 and I'll show you some of the stocks that I'm looking at, where I plan on hopping in, and then ultimately I'll show you where I hopped in and how much money I made or lost. So right now we're looking at QQQ. It's in this descending channel right now, and you can see every time it came up and touched that resistance, it ripped down. Came up, touched that resistance, ripped down. And right now we came up, touched the resistance, and I'm hoping once at the open, it rips down and we can try and touch the support down around the $260 mark. So. I'm going to see if I can get around 263 down to 260. That's my plan on QQQ. And I'll ultimately check the pattern, see if I could hop in or not. And then another stock I'm looking at is Intel. Right now it's in this channel between uh, two, uh, 2550 and 2475. But they came out with some negative news saying that they're, they have to have a 20% layoff. So I kind of want to see if this breaks down and touches this 2475. And ultimately see if we could break down and go below it so um that's what i'm looking at with intel and then lastly we could always try paypal again uh, this had a strong rejection off of its support around 80 dollars i want to see if it could come down and try that again so i'm going to play one of those three probably and uh yeah i'll show you the patterns i pick in a couple seconds i'll show you live and uh, we'll see if i end up actually making money or losing money so i'll see you in a second all right, everybody, just coming in to tell you I'm trading two TQQQ. This is a gap fill right here. It looks like it's about to go. So I need to get ready to sell in just a second. Hopefully we can break up. Let's see what I could sell it for. This is ripping up, and typically this fills real quick. So I'm going to try and get maybe a few bucks out of it and roll. Yep, see it's filling quick. 1.04. Let's see what we got. Oh, see, yeah, already did it. Wow. Wow. That went so quick. Nope, getting out. See on the minute, see what it looks like on the minute. Maybe we'll keep pushing. Because I'm in right now. I don't want this to topple over, but I think it might gap fill. Gonna let it come down to here. It's my range right now. Yeah, I'm gonna let it come down to 26.4. Somewhere around here. If it does, then I'm I'm tapping out. But hopefully this will keep chugging up. I got a feeling it's gonna turn around on my face. But uh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Cool. One point oh four. I want to see if I get five bucks out of this. Keep chugging up. Whew. What a crazy candle. Yeah, I don't like that candle. What's it doing? Yeah, I'm getting out. I don't like it. Come on, sell. Yeah, sold. All right, one dollar loss. Wasn't playing with that. Um, yeah, see, and then it just now it's probably gonna topple. Yeah, it just got out. So had a one dollar loss today. Um, you know, I was really hoping we would get that that gap fill where you just come up and then you fill this gap to to here. But nope, instead it crashed in my face. 
All right, everybody, so you just saw that trade where I tried buying in here for the gap fill. Uh, ultimately, gap filled afterwards, whatever, is what it is. But even worse, I bought here a put thinking that we were going to crash down just because in today's market, there's a ton of reversals. Reversal here, past couple days, it always loves to reverse. Um, but it gap filled on me, so I lost money here as well. So I did a put thinking it was going to go down. Ultimately sold somewhere around here for a $5 loss. Uh, so today in net, we lost $6. This is a, perf a perfect uh, head and shoulders, though. So, you know, if it breaks below here, if you guys are trading, it's a good spot to hop in and see if it can continue down. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you all the money. It's right here. Sorry. That's one of my videos that I was filming for you guys. Right here, buying power is down to 65 cents. But you know, this is 124 because I was rounding up. So we lost 6 bucks today. Is what it is. Um, gonna come back better tomorrow, and just keep trading. I'm I'm actually happy that all I lost was six bucks. So I could have blown up my account and ruined this small small account challenge. All right. So hopefully you guys can learn from this. Make sure you take a good stop loss. I had four green days and one red day. So I was up thirty percent. Now I'm up twenty four percent. Perfectly happy with that. I'm still up. All right. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can't wait to see the next one. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.